six children are without their mother. Half of them have a father who's behind bars and could be for a long time. He's accused of killing their mother. Brad Underwood just got back from talking to the family. Brad? Good evening, Rob. The 32-year-old mother had recently been given birth to another son. The little boy is not even three weeks old and he'll never know his mom. As family members grieve for themselves, they're also thinking about Yoakum's six children, especially the older ones, who will have to live on with a graphic visual ending of their mother's life. Saturday night into Sunday morning, officers spent hours at the home of Darlene Yoakum. Yoakum and her live-in boyfriend of six years weren't there, but five of Yoakum's children were. Those children saw or heard enough that they're gonna be impacted for the rest of their lives. It wasn't until hours later, Christopher Timmons led police on a short chase. Eventually, he stopped. Yoakum was inside the car suffering from a gunshot. She died at the hospital. I love you guys so much. Monday afternoon, Yoakum's mother, two sisters, and brother met with detectives still in shock over losing Darlene. And I'm gonna miss her more than life. We just wanna bring her home with us. That's what we need. She needs to come over with us. At the moment, the family is trying to figure out how to get Yoakum's six children, ages 15, 13, 12, 5, 2, and two weeks back with family members. She loved all of her kids conditionally, like unconditionally. with, And she loved all of us too. And she was just so funny and strong and beautiful. Timmons is the father of Yoakum's three youngest children. He's no stranger to police, though, with multiple arrests for assaulting women. The family says Timmons had been abusive towards Yoakum during the relationship, but she never reported him because she was scared. Holly Yoakum says she and her sister were best friends and that her new baby was all that her sister talked about. Trying to tell me when I talked to her four days ago that, you know, how, just how he just sh shined, you know. And now he's not going to get to know any of that. And while police were at the home, a neighbor opened up his house for the children. But the kindness for them doesn't stop there. You have a baby two weeks old. A firefighter's wife actually went to the store to get diapers. A sheriff's deputy went and got formula and food for the other kids. And when the 14-year-old boy asked an officer to pray with him, that officer did. Rob? Brad, thanks very much. Timmons is charged with reckless homicide. He'll face a judge in the morning.